Hi again. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can configure your MicroTech router to become an access point to be able to provide internet service to all network devices which are inside our network. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to configure your MicroTech router to distribute internet wirelessly. And then also you'll be able to configure the HCP server, the HCP client, and the network address translation. Now, and then at the end, we are going to test if the lab is done correctly. So if we look to the lab, so what we have here is uh, we have uh, uh, the MicroTik router, which is over this, this MicroTik router over here. It is connected to uh, the internet. Okay, there is an inter uh, internet connectivity uh, via the cable uh, of UTP on the interface Ethernet 1. So that means that on this router is getting an IP from the DHCP server, which is from the ISP over here. So the DHCP server here is providing an IP address automatically to this interface Ethernet 1. And then in this case, also it's getting him a uh, route and then the router knows how to route to the internet so means he knows how to go to the internet so our task is to uh, make this router the magnetic router here to distribute internet wirelessly okay so if we have a laptop over here if we have uh, smartphones if we have uh, tablets whatever they can connect wirelessly to the magnetic router and then the magnetic router can route all the internet traffic to the isp what I have here is my uh, my PC over here is connected to Ethernet 2 is only because I want to configure the router okay uh, Ethernet 1 is the interface where the internet is coming to it from the ISP but Ethernet 2 is there's a cable here connected to the router uh, and then after I finish my configuration to the router I will uh, disable this link and then I will connect wirelessly to the router okay and to see if we have internet coming so this is really what we have to do in this lab. First of all, we need to get an automatic IP from our ISP. That means uh, on Ethernet 1 here, we want to get uh, from the ISP an IP address. To get an IP address, the ISP here is configured, most of ISP configured the DHCP server. If you don't know what is DHCP server, there are a lot of uh, tutorials that you can find uh, on Udemy or on Google uh, which explain what is DHCP uh, server. But in brief, DHCP server is a server that provide IPs automatically. So if you put here the, your in, in Ethernet interface saying I want to obtain an IP automatically and it is connected to the uh, DHCP server, then the DHCP server can give you the IP address that you are looking for. Okay, so let's go to the router. And as you can see, my router is resetted, so I have no configuration on it at all. I will connect to it. Okay, the first thing we said is we need to get an IP address automatically on Ethernet 1. From here, I go to IP, DHCP client, I make plus, and then I say on Ethernet 1, I want to get an IP uh, automatically, uh, but also on uh, peer DNS, peer NTP, and I want to add it. I want uh, that the DHCP server add a default route on my router so I can reach the internet. And I say, okay. We wait a little bit, it's searching now for the IP. And as you can see now, it has received an IP. So this is the first step which we uh, have done it. So this is done. Now, uh, before I go to step number two, what I can do is uh, I can check if I have internet on this router here. I can go to terminal from here and I say ping uh, 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. That's a DNS public uh, server. And you can see I have reply. Okay. Um, or you can ping, for instance, google.com. Okay. And uh, we have a reply. That means that the router itself now it is connected to the internet. Um, if you are not really familiar with the terminal or with the command line here, what you can do is uh, can go to tools, and here you have um, ping. You see it, and then from here you say also 8.8.8.8, .8 and then you say start, and then it shows you that you have a reply. You see zero packet loss over here. So the router is now connected to the internet. But still, if we go back to the graph here, so the router now is connected to the internet, that's, that's true, but it's not yet distributing. So till this level here, there is internet here, okay, on this router, but it's not yet distributing internet wirelessly. Okay, 
and now these are the upcoming tasks are the tasks that we need to do to be able to distribute internet wirelessly from the router. Step number two, configure your wireless network to have SSID as lab two test. What is the SSID? The SSID is uh, the name of the wireless that uh, normally we see it when we need to connect. For instance, like here, this is the SSID, my critic home. This is my, my uh, internet uh, now I have wirelessly. And this is when you see my critic home is really the name of the SSID. Okay, service set identifier. So we need to set our SSID to lab task 2 and we need to use a security WPA and WPA2 with a password of lab 2. That's okay. We need to go to wireless. From wireless here, I have to create a profile, a security profile. Okay. Uh, and this is really what they ask us. They want WPA and WPA2. Uh, PSK, that's fine. And we keep it AES. And the password should be, as mentioned here, lab2. So they want to be lab2 for WPA and lab2 for... Um, actually, I think that's a short uh, password. It will not, yeah. Okay, let's change the password here. Let's say we, we may rename we it like uh, uh, lab, lab microtic2. Okay, let's, let's make a small letter of microtic. Lab microtic2. Okay, so lab microtic2. Lab microtic2. Okay, so we have just created the security profile. And now we need to apply the security profile inside the wireless that we are going to configure it now. So we have to go inside the wireless over here. It's, you can see it's set disabled. So we need to enable it. We will do it in a moment. From, from these tabs, I go to wireless. I will have to say that I want it to be an access point bridge. There's different uh, modes that you can set on your MicTech uh, wireless uh, uh, here. On, on this course, we are going to only speak about the access point bridge. And that means that your router become like an access point, okay? I would choose also to have BGNN, okay? Okay, um, channel width, I will leave it the same. Uh, here, I will put the frequency to be auto. Okay, here is the SSID that they ask us to be, uh, as you can see, lab to test. So, I will say lab to test. Fine. We leave the scan list, wireless protocol, that's okay. Here, the security profile is the profile that I have just created, okay, which have the which has the password uh, lab microtic2. I set it here and okay, all right, and then I need to enable it, okay. So the step number two is done correctly. So we have step number one: receiving an IP from the ISP to Ethernet one to this interface here, and now we have our wireless is up and running. But still, if you connect to it, it will not work because there are some steps that we need needs to be followed. Now, the step number three is we need to set an IP address on WLAN of 10.0.0.1. It's important because WLAN is going, the interface WLAN is going to provide internet service wirelessly, so it needs to have an IP address. I go to IP address, and then I set 10.0.0.1 slash 24. I want it to be on WLAN 1 and okay okay you can see here the difference this one is the IP address on Ethernet 1 which has received dynamically from the DHCP so it's dynamic but here it's manually we said we have set it manually okay so this step is also uh, good it's done step number four configure the router to become a DHCP server and and to provide uh, to the connected wireless devices IPs from the sublink 10.0.0.0 slash 24. Just let me explain here on the graph what we are doing now. So after the router is on the internet already, and after we have made our wireless network, the PCs which are here, this PC for instance, and say another laptop here that needs to connect to the internet wirelessly, the router should provide them an IP address and this IP address should be from the same range of the WLAN that we have just created. So 10.0.0.1 slash 24. That's why they ask us to be from the same subnet of 10.0.0.0 slash 24. That means we need to make a DHCP server, a DHCP server on the WLAN one. 
and it has to provide IPs from 10.0.0.2 till 10.0.0.254. Why the 2? Because dot 1 is already 2 WLAN 1. So WLAN 1 has an IP address already 10.0.0.1. And then any computer or any network devices which is connected to the wireless of, of uh, this router, uh, lab 2 test, then in this case they will get an IP address from this range which is from the, again from the same range of WLAN. Okay, so let's continue the lab in the upcoming lecture and see how we can configure the MicroTech router to be a DHCP server.